Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with another Barbie unboxing. Today I have got Barbie Extra number 14, 16, and 17. I picked all three of these up on sale for, I believe, $17 each at my Walmart. I couldn't find them in stores. I did had to order I did have to order them online which was kind of irritating because I knew they were, some of them were in stores, but it wasn't giving me the right price, so I had to do it online. But they're very cute. These are all Barbie extras that I was kind of like, eh, not super attached to any of them, but I'm gonna give them a try. So this is, of course, our Barbie extra number 14. She is in the classic Barbie print two-piece dress with some kind of like tinsely jacket on. She does have that really cute Barbie, like vintage Barbie box purse back there. So that's a really cute piece that I wanna work with. Plus she's got some decently cute jewelry on. We'll take a look at everything closer up. Then we have our Paisley two-piece, number 16. And she's very cute. She's like a platinum Barbie with gold accessories and a bit of blue streaked into her hair, so I'm okay with that. This is the one I'm actually most excited about, and that's Barbie number Barbie Extra number 17, because we don't see this like reddish brown uh, skin, or not skin tone, uh, hair color very often. And she's got really long hair that's in just like very manageable braids right now. Plus, this outfit is kind of cute. And I'm digging this little, like, faux fur blue leopard jacket. I kind of wish the pants were the fur also, but they're not, so that's okay. But very cute, with, a, like, like a very serviceable dog that you could repaint into an actual pet. So, they were very cute, but I did wait for them all to be on sale. Because at the 25 price point, if I don't love it, I'm not spending retail on it. So let's take a look at Barbie number 14. So this is actually, actually I may have picked this one up from, uh, from Macy's. Yeah, I did pick it up from Macy's. Macy's does this weird thing where they put the sticker over the actual barcode. I don't know why they do that, but they do it here on the front too. So I would have gotten this one for about 18, I think, because Macy's was having a 30% off sale. But let's just break our way into this, right? Let's see. I'm gonna use my little box of cutter because I hate how these boxes open. Or more often, don't open. Like, it's a pain to get in and out of these Barbie Extra boxes. And I don't know why. Because they showed us on Monster High, they know how to make dolls that have tabs. That aren't, you know, an utter nightmare to work with. But for some reason, when it comes to Barbie, they really love to make them very difficult to get into. And again, I am not an in-the-box collector. So I don't worry about messing up these boxes because they are not cooperative. Kind of. Almost. Kinda. Maybe I'll bring out the big ones. I've got my big industrial nippers. There we go. 
now she comes out. Sorry about that, y'all. I did try to make these a smooth open, but Mattel is against me when it comes to these damn boxes. Because I'm trying not to spend so much time on every unboxing to where, you know, it's just too much going on. But let's get her, now that we've gotten her out of the exterior box, we still have to get her out of all of the little plastic pieces that are holding her in. So she is, the first thing I'm noticing, she is on a curvy body, which is wonderful. Not wonderful for my rebodying, because I don't think I have any curvy bodies left in the skin tone, because it's a, uh, that would be a uh, Barbie Looks doll, and it would have been series one. So unfortunately, I do not have another one of those at the moment, but that's okay. I think I have some petites that'll work with her. So let's take her out like that. So here she is, out of the box. A very pretty face. Some nice baby hairs that go all the way down to the ears, if you see that right there. Very cute. Very stylish. And of course, we still have to get the little, um, whatchamacallits, the little plastic staples out. Because God forbid they pose any doll without these stupid little plastic staples. I will never understand it. Okay, and this one is literally just to hold a piece of hair in place. Like the stupidest reason to put a staple. Because all they're going to do at this point now is screw up the jacket. So there we go, we've got our hair out. So she's actually got four little ponytails. Very cute. It is a tank top underneath. They are two pieces, it's not just one piece that looks like two that I've seen before. I'll take off this jacket so we can get a little closer look at some of her stuff. But it's very cute. These are her sneakers, we have seen these before. Nothing too terribly new about her. We've got two little bracelets that were under there. So that's good. And a ring that just says Barbie. And we've got Barbie 1980 on her chain. Plus two little uh, necklaces in a flat silver. Plus these big Barbie earrings that are done in a pearl white. Not a pearlescent, just like a pearl inspired white. I kind of wish they were the pearled white instead, but very cute. But again, she's on a curvy body, which is great. We're going to get this little clutch out of here. So here is our Barbie clutch. It's very cute. It does actually open. So that's wonderful. It doesn't have like a handhold though. So what you'll have to do if you want to have a, a doll carry it is wrap rubber band around these little nubs and then secure it to her wrist, most likely. But, alas, such is the way of the doll collector. And I don't know why Mattel has started doing this, but they've started doing these weird little sunglass holders that fold around the sunglass instead of just having the sunglass secured in there. And this is done with like stickers, I'm pretty sure. It's solid plastic, so it's useless to me. This is a throwaway piece in my book. I never actually throw them away, but I should throw them away because I'm running out of room in my life. 
And then here is our cute little doll car. It's like a little like Corvette kind of thing, I think. That's decently okay. I could see you playing with this for like a, a baby doll or something like that. And then our dog, which tried to run away. It's like a little Cocker Spaniel, almost. Cute tail, cute body. He repainted the ears. This wouldn't be a bad dog, but it doesn't have any articulation. So, not a bad doll. Let me show you the possible skin tone matches, I think. So, this is the yellow made to move. As you can see, she's not a perfect match. This has got more of an, uh, like an orange undertone. Um, but I don't actually think I have any of the blue made to moves left. The more recent ones, that's unfortunate. Because she's not this skin tone, which is another BM, this is a BMR 1959. And she's not this skin tone. And she's not this skin tone from our wheelchair Barbie. So unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to get a new doll because she doesn't match our soccer player or our basketball player. She definitely doesn't match our other Barbie looks. So unfortunately, I do not have a current made to move match for her. But that's okay, because she is articulated. She's just gonna miss out on that additional, um, she's going to miss out on the additional articulation that made to move offers. So she'll be included in a later video when I rebody her along with some other dolls that get kind of like backlogged, but decently cute. I like her accessories. I like this jacket, but I don't love how fuzzy it is. And it needs a little more structure in my book. So, our next one is going to be this very pretty Barbie Extra, whose tag is not covered up. This is number 16. She is one of the newer ones. There's her UPC for anybody who needs it. She's been out for a while already, but they are not hard to find, and I feel like they're gonna be on sale for Black Friday, but not really like great sales compared to like OMG dolls where a couple of the uh, newer released ones are actually on sale for like 50% off at Target. So I'm just gonna open the back this way, I think. It's not perfect, but I think it's gonna be a little easier. I think this is the way you're supposed to do them, but even the way you're supposed to do them doesn't look like it actually works right. I don't know why they don't just give us regular boxes. In my book, you could just do all of this with a regular box and nobody would be mad at you. Kind of thing, you know? This works a little bit faster. Not much, but a little bit. right now, so it's not helpful. Okay. Okay. Well, that worked out a little bit easier. So here is our second one. Very cute. We're going to tilt down so we can 
unbox her. Oops, sorry. I just changed my filming setup, so I'm a little shaky on some things because I keep bumping into it. But I added an extra ring light to try and catch some of those details that were just being missed. So here we go. This is basically another Millie, I'm guessing. There's nothing too exciting about this doll's face. Her hair is very pretty though. And surprisingly, her bag is not some atrocious like food item. It's actually a cute little like Chanel inspired tufted purse or tufted clutch. Um, and then we just get her out there. And then there's this monstrosity holding her hair together back here because I don't know. Hair really needs to be secured in the Barbie boxing universe. Okay. All right. Okay. So we got her out. She does need a little bit of a brush because her hair looks really fizzy right now. Or frizzy, not fizzy. But, oops, sorry, gosh, I really need to move this over to the left, I think. There we go. <sighs> but, very cute. Again, her glasses, in my opinion, are a throwaway piece because they are not, um, they are not transparent. Which, if you're gonna make glasses for a doll, why would you not make them transparent? I do love this like side piecing though, because it's done in like the chain, like metallic gold, so it does match. Here's the little like dog treadmill. I don't know why. And then here's our little like chihuahua. Which actually, if you just took the sunglasses off, would be a decently like accurate chihuahua. So let's give her a closer look. I love these little shoes, except for the fact that it's dented. I just need to uh, hit that with a uh, with a nice little boil, though. And of course, we've got to take out some more plastic staples because god forbid you just put a jacket on a doll okay so this is a very cute shirt under here i'm thinking this is giving me the uh Kind of like a cute little like peasant top. Like, it's pretty cute. The pants do are an exact match in shade and material with the jacket, which I do love that. I do love a matching set. Um, I'm actually going to do a quick little brush through with one of my fail fix brushes just to smooth this out again give y'all a better idea of how her hair would actually look. It's pretty decent quality. It doesn't feel cheap. So that's good. So, she looks good. But again, she's just a standard Millie. Nothing too exciting about that. This is giving Marie Antoinette this uh, this necklace piece because it's got the heart medallion and some bows and this says queen on it so other than that and this has got malibu written on there which is kind of fun we just got a matching one that said brooklyn that'd be really cute i'm actually going to take the queen one off because i hate these chunky 
chain collars. And we'll leave the rest of that on because that's decently cute and it goes with her earrings. And she looks like she's going to be a standard Millie skin tone. So let's hold her up against some of the ones that we have right now. So this is the newest 2022 wheelchair Barbie. As you can see, she is a little bit warmer and this one is cooler. So we're going to try it against Alex Morgan. Unfortunately, Alex Morgan. And of course it's a match. So Alex Morgan is a little bit harder to find, which is unfortunate because she seems to be a match for a lot more dolls that are coming out. I'm gonna try her against this one. I know this one's a lot warmer. And that was a petite one. And then here against the, uh, she could probably work on this one actually, the baseball Barbie. Baseball Barbie is a little harder to find than the regular yoga Barbie, but not as hard to find as the Alex Morgan. I do have a couple more dolls that are supposed to be coming direct from Mattel, um, but unfortunately Mattel, when you order directly from them, takes a hot minute to ship things. So we're just gonna wait and see. If she gets here, if they get here and they're a match for her, I'll include it in a rebody video. But for now, I'm just gonna put her on the baseball Barbie, I think, because it's close enough. Close enough for horseshoes and hand grenades, I think. And then I will take her head off of the body. Always make sure your heads are very soft when you are rebodying dolls because otherwise you break neck pegs and nobody wants to deal with that. There we go. Get that one. Another Millie for the Millie pile, it seems. And the ones that I ordered from Mattel are curvy and tall, so unfortunately her outfit would not work with those. Or not her outfit, for her, her shoes. So we're going to try to put her on one of these, I think. But she's very cute. Ooh, there went her necklace. I got jettisoned off into my chaotic filming area. I don't know why I'm caring about that. I'm going to take her off. So her head is already nice and soft. I'm going to try my best to get her off without any body fatalities like that. There we go. Probably should have brushed her after I put her on the new body. I'm gonna trim this neck peg off. It's always just a little bit easier with a short peg than it is with a long one because it makes taking their heads off and putting new dolls on a lot easier. So there we go. Yep. See, good match. And then we can put our little shirt back on. I would really style this shirt with a lot of different outfits. Like, I love a good basic. Like, I kind of wish all of them had shirts like this underneath. Because I haven't seen this type of shirt before from Barbie. This is the kind of thing I would love to see from an extra line. Looks very cute, like that. Bum, ba, ba. This is the kind of skirt that I kind of agree 
with the OMG dolls in that they could use like the little like built-in panty line thing to keep the skirt from riding up too high like that. But it looks really cute. And we're gonna try our shoes on because of course our shoes are gonna stay the same. Very cute. And there's our regular one right there. And I'm gonna look and see if I can find where that other one shot off to. nice thing about having a designated filming area is that stuff can really only shoot so far. But unfortunately, it's gold and it blends in with my carpet. <laughs> so, I think it's going to be a hot minute before I find it again. So, that's alright. It wasn't unique. But it looks really cute. I don't hate this little like jacket, especially since it's the same material and it actually like kind of goes with the vibe and it has a liner. It's kind of surprising, but we are going to Try to put our doll hand through there. <laughs> okay, we're gonna skip that. <laughs> she looks cute. She gets a pass for me. I don't know why her purse is orange instead of being gold or white. That would have worked a lot better. But Still decently cute. And we'll figure out the rest of her stuff later. And again, that is the queen necklace or queen choker and the Malibu ring that we took off because it's just a little too much. And now we've got this one, which is our Barbie. Number 17, she looks really cute. I think she's gonna be a decent match for the, um, like the basketball players, but I'm not 100% sure, so we'll see. But she's got some decent accessories. And her box came off really easy like that. So here she is, out of the box. She looks very cute. She's got a lot of very metallic designs on her. So we're gonna try to keep her looking good. It's not a great sign that her shoes are done on with elastics, but you know, such is life. The thing that kind of bothers me about um, the Barbie Extra dolls so far that I'm really noticing is that they're not including tall and petite. It's just the original body and curvy most of the time which is kind of sad considering we've got all these different bodies to work with. But they really don't think that 
you know, body representation counts for Kirby dolls. So, I don't know. We'll see. So there she is. She looks good. Let's take her little sunglasses again. Not transparent. So that's three for three that are bad. And then we've got our little dogs. Thanks. So very cute little dog with some spots. Very fun. A very cute little like Starbucks cup. They had to ruin it by giving her a cake purse. Is it real or is it cake? That's gonna be the question. This is actually for the dog, not for her. So points off for making one of the accessories for the dog. And at least she's open now. So first thing we're gonna do is try to get her jacket off. So that's what she's working with underneath. It's just a basic little um, like boat neck tank top kind of vibe. And let's see if I was right about it being a good match for the basketball player. Eh, it's pretty close. Let's see soccer player instead. Pretty close to the soccer player. I think I'll use the soccer player. She's a little bit easier to find than the basketball player. Yep, they're the same body size. So all of our stuff should work. But very cute. Again, here's those shoes I was talking about. They've got some ruffles. They've got like really tall heel. She's got a little like multi-stack chain bracelet. And a couple of different things on here. I would take the gold one off because you don't mix gold and silver in my book. But she's got a really pretty face. And again, I love this like wine colored hair. So what we'll do is we'll get our donor body prepped. Nurse scapel. All right. But the good thing about keeping her on an original body type is that all of her stuff will look the same. Doesn't make me as happy to add them to my collection when I do that, but they're still very cute. Wow, this one is fighting me, this head. It's soft, it's just not, uh, it's not stretching this neck. There we go. Now she's off. Body prepared. We will take this neck peg, and add it to the pile of uh, nonsense that grows beneath my feet like a dragon's hoard. And we're going to be a little more careful with this one because I don't really want to take her little headband off. I'm gonna try to do this carefully. Okay, there we go. Boom. When they have earrings and a headband piece, it is kind of obnoxious to get their heads off. But there we go. Now she's on there. She's looking good and ready to be restyled. Coco Chanel may have been a Nazi sympathizer and anti-Semitic, but she was right when it comes according to this line where it says, before you leave the house, darling, take one thing off. 
and we are going to use that advice for accessories. It's kind of my whole vibe for this whole doll line, is to take one thing off. Let it go on that one. Okay. But very cute pants. I'm not usually a fan of like animal print pants, but like these are okay. Okay. The shoes do stay on without the rubber band. But, and they're actually a little more realistic when you put them on made to move feet, which is the thing. Because without ankle articulation, you really can't pose these dolls as well as you could with it. I'm actually gonna style this top off the shoulder because I don't think I'm gonna put the furry one back on but I'm actually okay with this chain choker because it goes with her earring vibe and this chain bracelet because it goes together. And I think that's a good look for her. So I do like the blue fur. I think I would style this with like a black evening gown instead. I generally take the... Um, I generally take the jackets off of the extra dolls just because I feel like they don't need them most of the time. Normally with like this one I would keep it on but because it's got these cuffed sleeves and it's so much harder to get the hands in and out of I'm gonna leave it off but it does have a really nice layer uh, not layer liner inside which is great. So we were able to rebody two of our dolls. This doll is going to need the more recent blue made to move yoga or the um, or the Barbie looks curvy afro doll. Those are going to be your matches. She doesn't have a full match at the moment. I don't why this light just shut off. Because oh, my thing is hot, that's why. I overloaded a plug real quick there. That's okay. Let's hope I didn't kill my thing. Nope. Just the plug. Okay. Sorry about that. So, as you can see, they're all very cute. I do need to rebody her. I don't currently have any donor bodies that will fit her, so that's all right. I could hold on to her head or swap out some of the other ones that are a little closer. Um, so if you guys have any questions on these three extra dolls, let me know. Again, good deals right now on them on Target, on uh, Walmart online and then I think Macy's Toys R Us is still running their 30% off Barbie sale so check those out and if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments if you enjoyed it leave me a like and as always follow along for some more fun unboxings all right y'all be good bye